Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Welcome to this video about Dan Evans' racket. I got a few questions yesterday after he beat Novak Djokovic at the Monte Carlo Masters. Uh, about his frame, uh, there's been a post since 2017 because I've always liked watching Dan Evans play. So I looked into what racket he used and it's uh, one of my favorites. It's the Wilson 6195. It's the Encode edition. I've made a classic rack review on this channel that you can check out. Uh, I've also reviewed the K-Factor and um, I will look into more 6195 content uh, when I get my hands on a Pro Labs 6195. I'm waiting for that. It's been quite hard for me to get a hold of, um, but that's what his racket is painted as. So uh, Dan Evans' racket is painted as the Wilson Pro Labs 6195. It's a racket based on the Hyper Pro Staff mode, as far as I understand. There are small differences between the different 6195s, mainly in feel, not so much in the specs, weights and balance and so on, but in the feel of the frame, and uh, Dan Evans uses the 6195 ENCODE. You can see it from on the butt cap, uh, which is the ENCODE uh, butt cap. So, um, and uh, one of the interesting things uh, with Dan Evans' racket is that he uses it without a regular base grip. He doesn't use a leather grip. He doesn't use a base grip, synthetic base grip. He only uses one torn attack over grip. And he's using a grip L4, which for his height is uh, pretty, rare to see you would normally see he, him go for a l2 l3 but he uses an l4 without a base grip so then you get it down in grip size possibly because he likes to feel the bevels a lot i think that's what he's uh, he's going for here and he strings his frame with luxlon Allo power 1.25 gauge at around 50 pounds or 22.5 kilos in some of the pictures it might look like he he strings the crosses with natural gut or something like that, but I think it's just the, the light playing tricks on you. So it's actually all the power and 1.25 at 50 pounds. So a pretty um, retail oriented setup. There's not much of customization going on. The 6195 is very solid in stock form. Uh, I've heard his weight measured at 350 grams. I don't know the swing weight. So uh, that thing is, is left out here, but from what I've heard, he's using it uncustomized. As you know, the 6195 is already a pretty hefty frame that can be used on Pro Tour and is by many, many players. And Dan Evans is one of them. Uh, I've mentioned Del Potro, Cole Schreiber, uh, Dusan Lajovic. Uh, there's a bunch of different players who has used or are using the 6195. Rublev used to do it as well, and uh, Shapovalov, for example, before they moved on to new frames. So it's a very popular racket, and it's almost like his game is molded a little bit by the encode, or they just found each other kind of in a perfect harmony, because he uses the slice a lot, and um, this racket is great on the slice, and he also attacks the net, which is where this racket shines, it's super stable, very easy to punch away a volley with this frame. Quite demanding to use, obviously, but when you're uh, a good player uh, or a fantastic player such as Dan, uh, it's obviously a racket that you can use, use to your kind of the max potential. Makes all the sense in the world that he's using this frame. One curious thing about Dan's style is that he's slicing the ball about 80-90% I would estimate on his one-handed backhand. You rarely see it these days that you, you get a players that use slice that much. Uh, but he has such a nasty slice, low skidding slice. And he seems a lot more confident using the slice than going uh, over the ball with the more topspin oriented one-handed backhand. And he serves that shot for when the player attacks the net. So he uses the slice very patiently and you could see it in the match against Djokovic that he was patiently waiting for Djokovic to try to move in or, or lose his uh, cool a little bit and, and at times he did that Dan was ready to pounce and, and ready to pass and it's very interesting game style that you can hurt the, the number one player in the world with the slice patiently putting good depth on the ball good action on the slice and it worked really well other players have used this strategy um, mainly used the backhand slice and then ha had a good forehand to back it up. Steffi Graf on the women's side, just an excellent example who sliced 90% of her shots but, but then moved around to hit the forehand. Uh, Fernando Gonzalez, uh, a great example as well. 
uh, used to slice a lot, but as soon as he had time to move around on that monster forehand of his, uh, the opponent was in trouble. Uh, you also have Feliciano Lopez, who has a great slice, great volley, old school, beautiful game to watch. And uh, so it's, it's definitely a viable strategy if you use it the right way to predominantly use the slice. Most players struggle on their backhand sides. That's the shot that you see players on club level and all pretty much all levels struggle with the most. Uh, there are obviously outliers that have a better backhand than a forehand, but that's the stroke that most players seem to struggle with. So having a very solid slice that's an easier shot to learn is a good idea in, in most cases. And uh, you can really use it up to the top level of the game. Just look at Dan and the other players I mentioned. So um, definitely works well for him. And when he moves around and gets to his forehand, he's very dangerous. And uh, it doesn't seem like the opponents can can find a good strategy to really uh, attack him when he's slicing that much. That's a very fascinating game style, especially on clay. We'll see when he, if he plays Rafa what happens at some point in this tournament. But um, I just find him his game uh, very nice to watch. And uh, he, he fights hard and uh, he fully deserves uh, some big wins. Uh, he's, he's had a few close matches with top players in the past. And he's uh, practiced a lot with uh, Roger because Roger really likes his game, it seems like. So, um, yeah, very interesting guy to watch. That's all about his racket, the Wilson 6195, painted as the Pro Labs version. You can check out the link to that in the description below. But he's using the ENCODE 1820 pattern, strings it with Lux Lenola Power 1.25 at around 50 pounds or 22 kilos. And uses only a torn attack overgrip, not a base grip. So far, as I know, he's not using any customization and his weight is around 350 grams with strings. I hope you enjoyed watching this short video about Dan Evans' racket. What do you think of his game? What do you think of the slice uh, as a weapon? Please let me know. Are you a fan of the 6195? Also keen to hear from you. Trying to get my hands on the Prolabs version. Uh, thanks to some nice... Uh, followers of Tennis Nerd, and uh, I hope to be able to review that soon. That's all for this one. Have a nice day, and don't forget to play some tennis.